Okay, fun fact. I recorded this earlier, but I didn't. Definitely did not hit the record button. That's the fun thing about doing it by yourself. All right, anyway, today I wanna to talk about relationships. <laughs> I seriously talked for like seven minutes. It's pretty funny. <laughs> relationships, okay. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about, communication. Why do I wanna talk about that? Because if you interact with a human being, you are going to have to communicate with them, believe it or not. So whether you're on the bus, at your workplace, at a family gathering, uh, somewhere else where people are, you're gonna eventually have to communicate with some of them, right? So I was thinking about it and I think there's like three things that you can do to have healthy communication with others. Number one, respect them, be respectful. I don't care what agenda you have, I don't care what's on your mind, just be cool, all right? Like you don't need to like get up in people's faces, you don't need to step on their boundaries, you know, get up and, you know, none of that, okay? Just respect them, think of them as a human being, things are gonna go good if you talk to them, I promise. Two, be kind, kinda ties into respect, but if you're always a nice person, you're always thinking about being kind, not being mean, not being manipulative, not being a piece of trash, it's gonna go okay, it's gonna be fine. People are gonna wanna communicate with you and they're gonna wanna interact with you and you're gonna have healthy relationships, okay? And then three, don't lie, don't lie. Like when you're in a relationship with somebody, it's kind of funny because it's Valentine's Day, I didn't even think about that. But when you're in a relationship with somebody, just tell the truth, like that's it. And sometimes it's hard, it sucks. <laughs> like someone pisses you off, you wanna avoid the confrontation. You don't wanna be like, hey, actually what you did sucked. Because then you, you know, if you're empathetic, you risk hurting their feelings, which you know you don't want to do, but just tell the truth, don't lie. And I mean, if you can just tell the truth, be respectful and be kind, like communication like takes care of itself. Like you don't need to be a wordsmith, okay? Just doing those three things is gonna be enough. So let's talk about the second thing, boundaries. You'll notice a person with a circle. It is not a force field or a shield. It's to represent a boundary, you get it? Because there's a, a circle around, okay, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, having he healthy boundaries with people, I think is something that we could all probably do a little bit better. Sometimes, like for me, sometimes I just take it on the chin, I'm just a little bit nicer, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, eh, whatever. Even though, like, maybe somebody's talking to me about something I don't really wanna talk about. Maybe I'm not a big politics guy, and someone's like, democracy and I'm like you know not really feeling that today if that's okay I you know I still want to talk with you I just prefer to leave politics out of it which I think is a pretty healthy response but you know I can think of a couple other examples I mean if you live with somebody and they're like hey don't eat my chips and you're like guess what I hate your chips they're probably gonna be pissed off because they asked you to respect a boundary albeit a kind of more like a physical one because it was just their stuff but you kind of violated that boundary by eating the chips. I mean, it's, it's, it's that simple. If someone's got some boundaries that they establish with you or you know what's important to you and things you don't wanna interact with, things you don't wanna talk about, establishing, establishing that with people is not really like that big of a deal. We all worry about stepping on people's toes and stuff. I mean, be respectful, but I mean, you heard the example I said earlier. It's like, you know, I just prefer not to do that today. If that's okay. If someone gets mad at you for that. It's like, well, who are you dealing with? <laughs> I mean, someone was like, hey, just maybe, maybe not today. I'd be like, oh, okay. Because I feel like that's pretty healthy communication, right? And then three, empathy. This one is big in any relationship, okay? Like, we all get mad. People make mistakes. We do dumb things. That's kind of our nature. We're selfish, but we try not to be. If you're in a relationship and you do something that upsets somebody else and you have the ability to get out of your own head about it and look at it from their perspective, think about how they're feeling, take a walk or walk a mile in their shoes, like, dude, you're gonna go really far in relationships. Because if you can see it from their perspective, like if I yell at someone and call them a mean name or something, which I don't really wanna do, but just for an example, <laughs> sorry. 
But if I do that, like I yell at somebody and I say mean things to them, if I think about it from their perspective, and they're upset with me afterwards, right? I think about it from their perspective, I can see why they're upset with me. I mean, that's a really easy example. But if you think about it, like that's how it's always gonna work. And if you can get in a relationship with, you know, like I said, people you work with, people you're friends with, or, you know, maybe like a romantic relationship, and you're able to be empathetic, and they are too, I think it's gonna go a long way. So, just real quick, a little overview at the end here. Relationships, healthy communication, be kind, be respectful, tell the truth, okay? Set boundaries, don't be afraid of them, they're good. Just be respectful when you establish them with somebody else, okay? And then, empathy. Man, if you can see it from someone else's perspective in all aspects of life, like with everybody you interact with, get out of your own head and look at it from their point of view, I think you're just gonna, you're gonna go really far, like, honestly. And I think, you know, if there's anything, you know, I left out or you think there's some good advice for relationships that you have that I didn't really touch on, I mean, feel free. <sighs> you know, these, these videos have, I get a lot more traction from the shorts and that's fine, but if anybody watches this and, you, you know, you wanna drop that in the comments, like, do that for me, because I'm still trying to grow too, I'm trying to get better. So, thanks.